Hello everyone, my name is Linda Gunnell. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding to go company. We cater to small and large events in and around the Philadelphia area. We do full service partial, month off. We do custom events, milestone celebrations, any events that need planning and decor we handle. We do destination wedding, my package is still at the fit the needs of every client. So if you want a planning aspect, we just do planning. If you want decor, we do decor as well. So for example, if you want centerpieces, bridal bouquet, just wedding backdrop, or some statement piece, we do that as well. I am a licensed and certified wedding planner and a florist. I have over 10 plus years in the wedding industry. So. I'm just going to join into the video. If you are just joining us, welcome. Thank you for watching my channel. Um, we've been talking about the ultimate wedding plan checklist. I've been, we started for a year, um, been doing this series. So if you haven't seen the rest of the videos, you can go back and watch them. Today, we're going to talk about the final week. So we'll talk about, you know, from hiring your vendors, um, your invitation, and when to purchase things, when to pay your vendors, like, and the, yesterday we'll talk about, we'll have the first month, all the things that you need to do to make sure from your measurement to sending up your RSVPs be prior. So today we're going to talk about the final week. So congratulations, you made it to your final week of planning. In this final week, that's when you take a deep breath enjoy all the hard work you know that you've done all the things that you put in place all the nitty gritties you know from just this is the time to just rest because you have done so much you know you already dedicated your timeline to whoever's going to take control of it whether it's a wedding planner or, or for a month of coordination that you hire or whether it's a family member that you end up putting designated to be in place to do the final choices on it this is the time for you to refresh you know you if you want to dye your hair change your color do something this is when you want to do it do you get your eyebrows done get your medicure your pedicure get you know your massages because we all need massage because you think about it, you've been planning all these many months you've been stressed out and you want to feel that wedding glow you want to have that you want to be relaxed you don't want to go to your wedding stressed out so the last week is that you want to make sure everything is like relaxing you know just where you just relax take a deep breath and say you know what i made it and you know from make sure you pack your bags for your honeymoon when you're going home and make sure everything that you want for your honeymoon is included in that bag um you want to make sure that you get your last dress fitting take your friends and family if you want to to come along maybe some of your bridesmaids even your mom to see a fine touch of the dress if you choose not to that's fine um but just go to your you can even take your planner to see how the dress looks so but this is when you go for your final fitting to make sure that everything is stitched right it's fitting right the buzz you know to make any little slight alterations if you need here and there but this is your final fitting to make sure that the length the bustle and everything and then most important that take your engagement ring to get clean you want to clean your ring because you think about it you got that new beautiful band and i think a lot of couple miss that your engagement been thinking about it since you've been engaged you've been wearing this for a year or maybe longer you haven't used it you wanted to shine for the camera you want it to look sparkly new so take it to a jeweler a professional jeweler to get it clean you don't want to take it somewhere else and then end up a stone get mitten or something so this is the time you take everything and then also for those who the RSVP. So, because we all know, we got some scragglers who take a little bit of time to send information in. This is when, if anybody you check the list, the few people who haven't sent in the RSVP, that's when you make a phone call, you check with them, or maybe sometimes maybe it might got lost in the mail, or maybe something happened. But this is when you, you know, check to make sure that you got get all that information. Whether if you can get it, you know, physically with the phone, whether her emails, or make sure to put it in the mail. But you want to make sure you have all these things done and then another thing you want to practice your vows so if you are exchanging vows you want to make sure you know what you say practice it stand in the mirror and look at it and talk to yourself you want to because you want to feel confident you know that's a saying that i use a lot 
it's fun the things that we can do in front of people, but we cannot do in front of one person. It's so easy to speak into a group of people. Sometimes it's easy to tell a group of people how you feel. It's nothing. But to tell somebody you truly care about and love, you care about every little thing. How would it feel? Would it like it? Am I saying the right word? What if they don't receive it the way that I expect them to do it? So this is the time to recite your vibes. Listen to it. Sometimes when you listen to things out loud, it sounds a whole lot better when it's just in your heart. So look at the mirror. Say your vows. Repeat those things to you. And then also, this is how you write a note to your partner. You know, if you want to exchange gifts during your wedding ceremony, you want to write a note that, you know, telling them not your vows, but just, you know, giving some information about anything, whether it's the planning journey or just to reminisce on your love or something special to tell them, but, you know, that make their day. So write a note. Something, say, it don't have to be a long page. It can be a couple of sentences but just something to make them feel that you are thinking about them and this both both male and females um or whoever's getting married or whatever you want to make sure that you guys have that information and know something that know that a person is thinking about you during the wedding because it's a lot of things that go on even if you don't give a gift at least write a note to that person to know that you know what i'm thinking of you on this day i cannot wait to spend the rest of your life with you because let me tell you something and I think sometimes we female will overlook it like when I first got married you know there was a lot of sometimes I would send notes here or something my husband would come out just write things you know down the year year five and everything and it was going to go and higher higher um the kids and everything came in the way and once in a while I would still do it but you know especially when I start my business I was guilty of that um I kind of sidetracked of that a little bit so but I didn't know that he he needed that oh i didn't know that something he read because i just felt like maybe he really don't care right i don't know one time a conversation came up many years this was many years ago and he was like and i just decided to write something and look upon him he was like oh my god i missed this and i'm like really he said yeah he said i missed the time when i just come on that's just see the note or something and just telling me something he said it really make me feel special but to myself, I didn't think that it meant anything. I was just like, oh, maybe he doesn't really care about this, what I do, what I'm not. But sometimes the little things we do for our partners, you don't know how it affects them. So once in a while, every now and then, I might throw out something here. What if it's a quick text or what if it's a note or something? Just to make, let the person know that you're thinking about them. So that notes really help a lot. And then it's like if you have any craft. Let's say if you want to do something special, a DIY project, or maybe anything you finish it, or maybe get to your partner or your guests or something. This is time to finish it and just make sure that everything is in, or in line or for what it is that you need to do. And you want to make sure everything you have for your traveling, especially if you're going out of the country for your honey, make sure your passport is everything is there. Don't put it in a place that you'll remember it. If you have extra money that you want to do, if you are getting, um, cash your check or a certain amount of money you want to have you want to make sure you have that to the bank or in the call your credit card company make sure you let them know and your bank to make sure to let them know that you are going out of the country at a certain time make sure you also register and i think a lot of people forget that register on the u.s travel site.com you want to register on that to let them know if you are going out of the country let them know that you are going out of the country what happens that if you do go down there, God forbid, something happen, they can send you any alerts, send you anything, if something happened, it can come and scoop you up. So anytime you are flying out of the country, I don't care what it is, always go on there and register as the www.ustravel.gov. Don't care, I might be wrong, but it just saw a travel, government travel site. And you can register and it will give you updates about our country, what to watch out for, what not to watch out for. You want to make sure you have all of that. And, you know, so this is the time you want to do everything to have your glow. Face, oh, you know, just relax. Enjoy the moment because it goes back so fast. So the day of the wedding is, is intense. A lot of things happen. So you want to make sure that your final week, you got one week. I have to make sure you get everything that you need to get done. But that is all for today. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about the night of the wedding. Um, I might compare the night and the day of it. It all depends on how 
like more detail i want to talk about it but just to you know make sure man maybe i probably will split it up because the day is kind of the day of the, there's a lot of things um you know that goes into it but that is all thank you for coming with me on this journey as always my name is linda gunda it is amazing please share like and subscribe to my channel and you can also go on my website www.lindaperfectcreationsevents.com to learn more about my services and also sign up for a free consultation thank you and have an amazing night